because it takes months to do this. It's just like the U.S. military massing around Afghanistan right before 9-11 and Bush signing the launch order to attack them in the next month on September 10th. I mean, this is basic intelligence. And their whole agenda is imploding. The last time that happened in 1995, they bombed Oklahoma City, Bob. That's right. Now, that's right. I, you know, you know, some of these things are so similar. And... uh you know, you, you you scratch your head and you say, where are they going to do it next? And some of the underlying factors are are there and have been there to do these kind of things for a long time. So there's plenty of fertile ground. I mean, just like I pointed out with Greece, I mean, everybody in Europe knew for the last dozen years that they in Italy fudged their books in order to get accepted into the Europe. And Goldman Sachs helped them engineer it. That's right. And in, in part... Uh, J.P. Morgan Chase and Citigroup, um, particularly in Italy, uh, they're getting some terrible trouble there, and there's still court cases going on, uh, some of the shenanigans that they pulled. Well, Bob, it's a very simple equation. Uh, the bankers are all registering record profits. The rest of the economy is going under. The nation states are going bankrupt. The bankers are celebrating the birth of a world government they're going to run through nothing but complete fraud that they took over the planet by getting us to accept their control of the issuance of currency and credit, they're getting rich and powerful. Everybody else is imploding. They're above the law. They're above the tax laws. I mean, it's incredible. Well, they're certainly above the law, that's for sure. And uh, more and more people are becoming aware of that every day. Bob, I want to hit another subject and then get into gold with you. Here's the Hill newspaper. Microsoft exec pitches Internet usage tax to pay for cybersecurity. Okay, so there they are with the Internet tax. They also want you to go web licensing to get online. I told you they're announcing all this. Here is Wired Magazine. This is not Alex Jones saying this. Cyber war hype intended to destroy the open Internet. And they go on to report that this is the end of freedom on the Internet. As they're about, and this is the big, another big symbol, another indicator they're about to stage terror and bring in police state, because when they finally do that, they're going to start shutting many areas of the web off selectively. Uh, Fury as EU approves GMO potato. That's another article. White House cyber czar says there is no cyber war, though. Uh, and then I've got another one here. I mean, Bob, it, it's, I'm sure you heard about the Ninth Circuit Court of Appeals ruling two weeks ago. There's no Fourth Amendment. Right. I heard about it. And, you know, you're talking about this cyber thing. I've got uh, research here. Milan court sentences Google officials to prison for a whistleblowing uh, video. And uh, then we got another one here from uh, the, uh, uh, the anti-counterfeiting trade agreement uh, so that they can spy on you. And we got another one here. Uh, broadband tax in Great Britain uh, that they want to institute, uh, which is similar to what you just read from the Hill. Uh, the French uh, net is filtering, has a filtering plan, and it's moving forward uh, in the assembly in, in France. Um, Italy's government seeks control over online videos, and it just goes on and on. You just got to do your homework on it, but they are building up to it, and that's one subject uh, that I keep my research out because it comes up fairly often on the programs that I'm on. Exactly. Here's another one, Infowars.net. Former director of national intelligence calls for reengineering of the Internet. They're already seizing the whole system, putting their control grid in. I mean, I want listeners to know, when Bob and I get up here on the show and others, we, we're not just making this up to be shocking. I've been telling you for years, under Internet 2, they were going to do exactly what they're doing now because I was reading their own white papers. This is not rocket science, okay? Bob, I want to bring Ted Anderson up and come back in the next segment and, and uh, take a few calls for you. But I wanted to bring Ted Anderson up because he's got a deal, and he's the owner of the Genesis Network. He also owns Minus Resources, where he's giving your 159-year membership in hard copy or twice a week in email, 45 pages, the most invaluable newsletter I know of. Folks, and I mean, no other guest has this much key info, plus a lot of its articles we write. You, you will notice Bob knows what the good stuff is. Uh, it's over 45 pages, sometimes even longer. The point is, 
a free year membership, digital or hard copy, from Bob Chapman when you buy one franc. And this comes out to $500 an ounce gold with this deal. Ted, throw out quickly, because I didn't even tell Bob we were going to do this. I want to see what he's going to say. Throw out your gold and silver deals real fast, and then we're going to ask Bob how good a deal those are. Because I happen to know you can't find gold deals and silver deals anywhere near this anywhere. You know, uh, some places do fake bait and switches. This is real, folks. Ted Anderson. Yeah, well, the franc is currently right now 261.61. And if you buy just the one coin, you're going to be able to get a full year subscription to the International Forecaster, just like Alex described. Now, if you take the discount of that 159 off of there, it comes out to be about $520 gold, and you have to turn back the clock more than 10 years to be able to buy gold at that price. We also have the Montana Silver Rounds there at 1873. That's also another great buy. I know uh, I've seen online those have gone over 20 bucks now. And then the $20 Liberty, Alex, at $1,363 for a $20 Liberty, which is a 100-year-old coin, uh, you know, U.S. Eagles are over 1200 bucks right now, and that coin is just absolutely a steal. So really, but... What do you got on Sovereigns, Ted? Well, Sovereigns right now are at $318, also another really good buy. But I, I can tell you right now, I can't make a sweeter deal than for you to have the international forecaster, and after calculating the discount, you're buying gold at $520 an ounce. Bob Chapman, how good is that deal Ted just offered? It is fantastic. It does not get any better. Let me just add this, too. Uh, folks, I really have storable food. I really have firearms because I, I read the banks you know, a decade ago saying they're going to get everybody in debt, implode the world economy, bring in a world government they run with planned austerity. Now, ten years later, I see it in the news with the IMF, the World Bank, the Federal Reserve, the Harvard Business School head all saying a new way of life is here. You're all going to be slaves now, but it's good for the earth. Headline, bad economy, good for carbon footprint. I have a family to take care of. So I've got gold, I've got silver, I've got food, and I bought my gold and silver from Ted Anderson. And let me tell you, when gold when I bought for 260 bucks an ounce 10 years ago, went up to 500 I didn't sell it. When it went to 1000 I didn't sell it. When it went up to 1230 bucks I didn't sell it. When it went back down to 950 I didn't sell it. When it ran back up to 1130 I didn't sell it. I'm not selling it because I know they're in a concerted effort to devalue currencies worldwide, and I will not be dependent on this stinking criminal government. And that's the reason to get gold and silver. A lot of you have got it for an investment you've done better than any other investment out there. It's the best performing in the last decade period, Everybody knows that. That's admitted. The issue is that's not why I even have it. I have it because it protects me. Bob Chapman, how important is that point? It is the most important thing that you can do after you put in your defensive position, which is food, filter, and weapons. Absolutely. Here's the number for all those different offers. Brokers will be there throughout the weekend. If they're out to lunch or something, there's usually 15 of them up there on the weekend. Leave your name and number. They'll call you right back. And you'll be able to get this deal because gold's still going up, and Ted's giving you lower prices because he bought it when it was lower. How long can you hold these deals, Ted? Well, I'm going to hold it right through Sunday, and then we'll see what Monday holds. But, yeah, I can do it right through Sunday. So if you're looking for something at this particular time, this would be the time to get locked in, especially on that Franken forecaster. I mean, those two things tied together like that, it's going to give you the information that you need to have in order to know what's going on in this economy. In addition to this, you're going to have a piece of gold that you could trade not just here in the United States but across the world. And like 800-686-2237. Here's that number slowly. People say you say it too fast. Okay, here it is. 800-686-2237. 1-800-686-2237. And uh, Ted, a lot of times, doesn't offer these special deals online. He is offering it as a special deal online. you got to go to Infowars.com, go into the news, a uh, featured news archive from yesterday, and we put an article up about it, about gold exploding in value as currencies decline. Uh, but you can also call toll-free 800-686-2237. Just tell them it's the Alex Jones special, or you'll be paying more. That's still a good deal. 800-686-2237. Don't procrastinate. The bankers are all hoarding gold. They tell you not to own it. Give me a break. Thank you, Ted Anderson. We're going to come back with a final segment for Bob Chapman. Jam a few phone calls in. Ladies and gentlemen, now is the time to blow the horn and warn the people about the enemy.